Have you ever noticed how much unoriginal content is on YouTube? Especially these days. It seems like as technology has gotten cheaper, everybody's run out and bought their own DSLR digital camera with some editing software and boom, they're the next PewDiePie making six figures a year. Of course, that never happens, so what you're left with is a bunch of clickbaity videos with people doing their best impersonations of Jenna Marbles, H3H3, Angry Video Game Nerd, Nostalgia Critic, or even the aforementioned PewDiePie. Just people blatantly ripping off other more successful YouTubers because they themselves don't have an original bone in their body. For example, I'm into retro video games, right? You would not believe the amount of 20-somethings with their own retro video game channel doing their best impersonation of the angry video game nerd talking about video games that were made 30 years ago. And that's the key word here. Video games that were made. Original content being produced. There is such a lack of that on YouTube. Now why is that? Is that because Everybody on YouTube is just some washed up hack wannabe who couldn't cut it making their own original stuff. Hmm, that might be the case for some YouTubers. But I tend to think it's more along the lines of getting your own original shit out is fucking hard. Damn near a Christmas miracle. Take it from me, somebody who's been making original music for over 15 years now. I've been trying to get my original music out, outside of my tight little small group of friends, forever now, and it just hasn't really happened. It's very difficult when nobody knows who the fuck you are and you don't have any kind of an advertising budget like a major corporation to make people aware of your brand. It is a lot easier, however, to take a brand that has been advertised a lot, like a movie that people like or a television show or video game and make a video about that and take the uh, image from the movie poster and put that on the front of the video on YouTube. People are more likely going to click on that than they are about, say, I don't know, a video that somebody does called How uh, Healthcare Works in America and they're dressed up in a blonde wig. No one knows what the fuck that video is about and that's why that video has very little views. It's a video I made, by the way. Just based off of brand recognition alone, I feel like that's a main motivator for a lot of YouTubers to make videos that are not original, where they're just talking about or reviewing something else. In fact, my channel, when I first started YouTube, my channel was supposed to start out as a sketch comedy channel. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make videos uh, just about the various sketch ideas I had in my head. My, my, my idea was going to be uh, this kind of like a lead singer Nickelback, like a day in the life of like this guy, you know, just this butt rock kind of hard rock guy. And it was going to be like real corny and like, like a documentary comedy kind of style. But then when it got into like the actual semantics of, of making a sketch comedy video of uh, sets, blocking, writing, editing, I felt like that was a very daunting process that I was very underqualified for. So that's why one of the first videos on my channel was me doing a video game review, doing my best angry video game nerd impression. It was just easier to do this time-tested format on a trail that had been blazed many years previous. Just look at when Doug Walker, aka the Nostalgia Critic, retired that character for a little less than six months, and then returned back because he tried doing an original project called Demo Reel, which was, I guess, some kind of skit-based thing that he wrote, and it sucked and nobody watched it. So he had to go back to talking about movies that other people made. And that's got to be an even bigger bummer to the big YouTubers because you, you kind of feel like, on one hand, they didn't really want to end up famous for talking about other people's art, other people's creations. You, you think it, some part of their head, they fashion themselves as an artist and a creator, yet here they are locked into forever talking about other people's stuff. I'm sure James Rolfe enjoyed talking about shitty video games until about episode 100 of The Angry Video Game Nerd, and now he knows that if he does anything else, nobody's probably going to give a shit about it.
I eventually did get around to doing sketches on my channel, what I really wanted to do, and they get the lowest views, and I totally understand why. I'm also putting my music out on my channel, and they, they also don't get many views. It's kind of hit or miss with all these things. I think for me though, as long as I can have a balance of doing videos of stuff that people know and recognize and doing my own artistic creations, I can strike that balance to where I'm happy. So at the end of the day, why is there so much unoriginal content on YouTube? To me, it boils down to laziness on the content creator's part. Nobody wants to put the time and energy into creating something new and original. They would rather do the time-tested review or unboxing or playthrough or what have you. Now, it's not all the creator's fault. I feel like YouTube could do a little better job highlighting original content rather than just promoting whatever videos get the most views. So that's my theories on why you see so much unoriginal content on YouTube nowadays. Um, for me personally, like I said, as long as I can do my own original skits and music and release that and also do the, um, you know, reviews on things that people already know about like Phil Collins or Mega Man or whatever, uh, I feel like that balance is enough to make me happy personally. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you agree or disagree with anything I said, feel free to uh, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I will definitely uh, respond because, my again, I keep saying my channel's so small that it's very easy for me to respond to comments at this point. So, uh, yeah, and uh, if you like this video, check out my other ones. They're all completely different. It's like a bag of trail mix, this channel. It's all different. They're all like snowflakes. So, uh, hope everybody has a good rest of their night, wake, day, whatever. Goodbye.